वेलकम बैक टू मॉडल मीनिया 2023 फेज वन फेज टू वी विल मेक इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो दिस इज दी आर व्यू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस व्यू यू विल सी दिस इज फ्रंट व्यू टॉप एंड बॉटम व्यू सो फ्रॉम फ्रंट व्यू वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑल डायमेंशंस आर इन मिलीमीटर प्लेन कार्बन स्टील एंड सी दी आउटर डायमीटर फिफ्टी एंड विथ यू विल सी हियर इन सेक्शन व्यू थर्टी मिलीमीटर then there is one rib this rib width 15 and distance from center to here 65.5 and there is one cut out 30 mm and 14 mm from center so these two we will make first and then this corner have one a full round radius so i am going to activate top plane a sketch now we enter the sketch mode activate circle move cursor over origin click left mouse and drag and place somewhere press escape key to out activate the smart dimension and apply 50 mm now exit sketch go to feature activate extruded boss base feature keep plane same and condition i am going to keep mid plane and here 30 mm say okay now therefore we want to create rib here so first we have to create a plane activate reference geometry drop down plane first reference front plane second reference select this face but not per perpendicular keep parallel say okay activate sketch on this activate corner rectangle and start rectangle from center so that we don't need to define more press escape key to out select this line hold shift key and select this line collinear constraint this is important constraint the smart dimension now center distance 65.5 okay one more activate corner rectangle escape key to out trim entity select power trim press and hold left mouse and drag and see this middle line trimmed so okay hold shift key select these two outer lines and make constraint collinear and equal say okay the smart dimension this length 30 mm and vertical distance 14 mm extruded boss base here end condition keep blind reverse direction and the depth only 15 mm you will see the preview see keep result merge so that we don't need any more bodies we want one body click plane and hide a smart activate fillet and here you will see option full round fillet so it will gives you three box option select first activate second one click second face activate third one select third face and activate full preview and you will see the preview full round fillet say okay see now here let's make this one 12.5 is radius and distance from here to one end 108 or 42.5 mm okay then you will see there is a two holes at both end 6.5 through hole and uh, diameter counter bore diameter 11 depth 6 mm counter bore hole m6 socket head caps through both side you will see in section view depth 6 mm now select front plane sketch activate line tool and draw or sketch if you move back to the point and see the line converted into arc and connect now select this line horizontal this line vertical undo vertical this line horizontal now select this point origin point hold shift key and select this line and make constraint mid plane A smart dimension 12.5 mm radius hold shift key 
select outer face make sure you select it from outer side to outer face click and drag somewhere here 108 millimeter look this is fully defined sketch activate extruded boss base feature now in this condition play, start condition we will keep same mid plane 30 millimeter is the width you will see the preview make sure merge okay now here we go hole wizard now first here hole type so i am going to select the first one counter bore hole now unit unit i am going to choose metric now type this is socket head cap screw you will see here m6 if you check so custom 6.5 diameter this is what i want to use see 11 and uh, 6 this is the by default even if you want to change but this is what i want to make and condition through all rest keep as it is select position select this face move cursor over edge and you will see a plus point or center point click press is escape key to out of this selection and you will just rotate and see preview okay again activate x hole wizard the same condition everything is same just check this show custom okay position this time i am going to select this face move cursor over edge and you will find center point click press escape key to out and just rotate and see the preview okay look now there is a one hole 42 and there is a two you will see here one two two millimeter is the cutout then back side there is one more cutout you will see here hexagon cutout 11 millimeter this depth and inside depth 6 millimeter and the r2 typical all fillets are r2 here it shows section view b see from inside it looks like this see select this face sketch now activate hexagon tool polygon tool six number of uh, instances inscribed circle move cursor and select now select this upper one horizontal smart dimension 11 millimeter this is fully defined sketch activate extruded cut feature now here we have to define depth 6 millimeter and make sure and blind selected look select off face sketch activate circle and start from origin point place somewhere smart dimension 42 millimeter feature and activate extruded cut now this time end condition i am going to select through all it means it is going to cut up to the end of body say okay look again i am going to select this face sketch and i am going to select line connect this end to this end extruded cut now this is plain line so here you have to activate thin feature direction keep mid and width 2 millimeter according to drawing say ok end condition through all look now let's apply fillet we will try to apply in one shot constant type fillet here put dimension 2 millimeter symmetric select 1 2 3 now select this two outer one i am going to select this one this one
and uh, let's select this outer and this one we selected maximum one so just say okay check this is the important from this inside one again fill it and we forget to add here select this one the same constant type 2 millimeter symmetric okay now see we already defined all the things this is completed i am going to select real view now right click on material not specified and from here directly choose plain carbon steel look go to evaluate mass property 337 see 337.97 gram this is the our exact mass okay now i want to apply some color to this geometry so simply i am going here cancel right click again go select this one yellow okay now select this two fillet control key select this two and drop down and here choose fillet and i am going to select this red color okay now look how we applied color and material to this body i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works in phase 2 we will do in next lecture thanks for watching